This year I've grown my personal best pumpkin. It's quite large, it weighed in at 1,059 pounds. Wow. It has a circumference of about 10 feet and the shape of it this year is pretty fantastic because it's round. This is my ninth year uh, and it comes with a lot of heartache because I think I've only ever gotten four pumpkins to the scale. Sometimes they explode, they crack, they rot. And what happens when your pumpkin cracks? I mean, what does that do to you? Well, the first few years I cried, <laughs> you know, and then it's just like, it's devastation because there's so much work and effort that goes into these things. I mean, to me, this pumpkin is huge, yeah. but in the world of competitive pumpkin growing, this pumpkin is... Uh, let's just say, I think I ranked about 500th in the world this year okay. with this pumpkin. So you can imagine there's way bigger and better pumpkins. And now you took this to a local competition. Did you have any expectations of where you might place? Uh, I was hoping for top five. Like I said, everyone's in the community and you kind of hear where everyone's pumpkins at and whether they're going to take it to the States or... Are those competitions kind of like the NHL of competitive pumpkin growing and, and, and the competition here locally is kind of like the AHL? Absolutely. I would say the competition here is kind of like high school. Oh, really? You know, in comparison, you know, because like the competition in the States, I would say that's the Stanley Cup final, okay. you know, where they're paying that big money. And if you break the world record, they pay $30,000 if you break the world record at these competitions. So if you did grow a bigger pumpkin than this in, in your yard, would you consider taking it to the U.S.? Uh, I doubt it. I want to support the local event and try to get, hopefully we get a, can get a sponsor here soon enough and then keep all these local pumpkins, you know, here and grow a bigger, uh, fan base, if you want to call it that. Hi, I'm Jeff Pelche, and I'm a giant pumpkin grower and the local BC rep for the Great Pumpkin Commonwealth. What is the Great Pumpkin Commonwealth? Can you explain that to me? It has some Canadian roots. So one of the most famous giant pumpkin growers is Howard Dill, and he actually started the whole strain of Atlantic giant pumpkins. He was very popular on the scene in the 80s and started breaking world records consecutive year after year. So uh, because he was so popular, he started this group of growers and eventually that's what became the Great Pumpkin Commonwealth, which now spans sort of world, its worldwide reach. It's just continues to grow in popularity. So part of that is this collegial atmosphere where you have these competitions, but it's really people supporting each other, trying to get to the next milestone. And so there's a lot of seed trading. It's all in an effort to try and keep getting the totals bigger and bigger. I have a pumpkin seed in my a seed library that I haven't yet grown because it is one of the world's most expensive seeds right now because it has grown more pumpkins in excess of 2,500 pounds. And, and how much does that seed cost? This one I've seen go as high as $750. Yes. So you're holding on to this incredibly expensive seed. Is this like an incredibly valuable bottle of wine that you're just waiting for the right occasion to open and enjoy? Not necessarily because the time is ticking. So a pumpkin seed can typically only be germinated for about 10 years. And then after that, it'll start losing its ability to be sprouted. I'm either waiting to give it to someone who can really push what it has to offer. Like, you know, genetically, you want to make sure you're pushing the plant. But there's also an opportunity that if I could find a grow greenhouse to grow it in, that I would do that myself, so. What is the competitive pumpkin growing scene like here? It's friendly. You know, we share tips, we share tricks. We all know what seed we're growing and how we're growing it. And we all support each other. Yeah, it's great. Who, who doesn't want to see a giant pumpkin? Everyone smiles at a giant pumpkin. Right? Yeah. Ha, ha, ha.